And in a senseless death, the silent was mugged in cold blood, ascending the spire, trying to reach the heart of the matter. She died with a mall bank in her pocket. Ironic, because the thief loves gold. He sure had a happy day. What do you got? What's up, Blue? How you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah, we got we got one more. It's pretty good. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. One more is pretty good, as far as early stuff is concerned. All right, guys, we're gonna try hard a little bit. All right, this is gonna be the. You guys have seen too much misery, so it's good. we're gonna make this a good one. We're making this one a good one, okay? To the shadows, lurking away. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. Yes. Oh, boy. I'm a real boy. Everything's just aligning so perfectly right now. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, what is that? that you see that go? Pick some block, I feel like. Uh, I'm not sure here. I might. Honestly, I might take Hollow World and go for one, two, three elites. A little, a little early, Hannah. A little early. I might go for three elites here because. Okay, I do want to hit the shop because we have a lot of gold, but well, let me see. Hollow World is something I don't normally take, and it's going to be a curse thereafter, I feel like. But there's some merit, I think, in taking Hollow World and going for elites. Nah, it's kind of, eh. I feel like taking charge battery, but I'm not even... I'm taking the charge battery. I want some more offense right now. Woo! QI Explorer with the... Alright, so when, when that happens, guys, when we have the one viewer host, we need like an inside joke. We need an inside joke for this. So how do I... When a one viewer host comes in, um, do we like thank him for the self-promotion? It's nice against enemies that flood your decks or statuses. Come on, Siloam. Bro, people have told me I look like Daniel Humphrey, alright? Dan Humphrey, alright? This back back in Gospel Girl. Let, let me show you. Alright. I did this for you, Beck. Did you see what I've done for you, Beck? Alright, no, honestly, okay, let's just forget that ever happened. That guy's creepy, anyways. By the way, that's a good show, guys. Actually, a really good show. You, uh, if you guys haven't seen you on Netflix, it's, 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 um, Pen Badgley, right? I call him Dan. I call him Dan Badgley, Dan Humphrey. It's a pretty good show. Fear Pot versus who's the boss here? Do I want Block Pot versus? Uh, I think I'm gonna go for this. And we're gonna go for. I think the Block Pot's gonna be more useful. Following the show? What? I said Beck? Okay. On the first episode, you, you hear about Beck. Ain't no spoilers. Frezzy. 
Freezy. Welcome, buddy. I'll give you my free sub because I really enjoy YouTube content. I didn't know these streams that often, so keep it going. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Hell yeah. Let's go. Twitch Prime. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Wait. Notification. I shouldn't have to do this manually. Oh, man, look is. Thank you, dude. Ooh, defrag. Okay. I don't have any frost, right? But I love me some defrag. I wonder if genetic algorithms work. And I want to get this stream out. I'm going for the elite. I think my goal is actually to go for the um, shop here. Is Joe? I know. It's, I I know. It's Joe. Where's Bex, Joe? Lunar Knight, thanks for the follow. I'll remind you of young Tommy Wiseau. Okay, now, I don't know how to take that. Is that a compliment, Tommy Wiseau? I mean, yes, okay, he made the room. But, uh... Some of the things I've seen of Tommy Wiseau in some of the interviews. And no disrespect to the guy. You know, I'll, I'll leave it, I'll leave it as, I mean... However you meant it, however you meant it. Well, young time was. It's interesting because. Is there footage of him being young? Okay, what? That's a bad turn. My right, buddy. Where's the, where's the, what are the, some of the classic? Oh, I love Persona Tech. What are some of the classic lines in the room? Um, it tear me apart, Lisa. What are you eating, buddy? Let's do buffer. Now we're gonna go for. Oh hi, Mark. We're gonna go for double elites here. I feel like. Like up, okay, I want to go for the sh Here's what I'm going to do. Whoo! Shit! Prismatic on floor 11. Yes, Jeremy. Take me, Jeremy. You're going right into my plan. You have a good run for you. Let me kill it. I know this is a tricky, tricky little situation. It often ends up in misery, pain, regrets, and every other bad feeling in between. But damn it, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Now, if we're being, you know, completely statistically, like, I want to maximize our win percentage, take the frozen egg, might even take the happy flower, maybe remove a card, carry on. See, Anthony says do it, but because the, the discipline play will probably be like frozen egg, happy flower, and I don't think I can afford removal. The interesting play is prismatic happy flower removal. Oh, now that's interesting, shit. baby. Oh, yes! Obamore, you gave me all the gold to get this beautiful thing, and now you're giving me the gold to get this? I can't ruin it. Please don't let me ruin it. So not the gold. I meant to get the, uh, you're giving me curse tree, whatever. So I can milk this a little bit. I'm gonna, I guess like, that would be a good first turn, honestly, with the vulnerable. But I wanna milk the upgrades right now of, of the tongs, and also get out my powers. And now we're gonna start the fight. It's gonna be relatively easy with two buffers. I'm not gonna take a single point of damage in this fight. I wanna get this out before it's too late. And one buffer down. Two buffer down, and fight over. Cool. Lantern, very nice. Whoa, I was not expecting. For a second, I you know I always forget that I took prismatic shard. Let's uh, let's take a look at this. Thank you, Top Dad NA, with the tier one sub. Also, the Top Dad NA obviously makes top tier decisions for that with that sub right there. I appreciate that. My dog right now, look, if you guys can see this, look what he's doing. He's trying to force me to play with him. Now look, guys, yesterday we streamed, and at 10 p.m. he was asking me to do this, right? 
now it's what 12 p.m. and he's asking me to do this is it a sign that he wants to play more is that what it is play with your brother buddy okay I got prismatic shark I got prismatic shark okay I'm thinking uppercut here <laughs> I'm thinking uppercut. I like it. I need some frost. I might arrest just because I feel like we don't have that much consistent defense with no frost. We have we have the defrag, which is gonna help us with the, the lightning damage, but we don't have that much consistent defense. And I feel like the only thing we can only way we die is we have enough damage to spray them consistently. But I'm worried. Oh, we do have buffer. That is a consideration. I'm just worried that I won't have enough defense, but uh, that's why I have a mistake. Cause I, I didn't take into account the fact that we have... Uh, I didn't take into account the fact that we have the Warp Tongs, which kind of helps my defense become better quality. But here I want to get the Streamline out. Do I? I mean, I lose a buffer for it, but I feel like it's worth it. Is it? It's not. Wrecking this fight. Do, 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 do. I want to get the weekend, but all right. Play conservative. Keep buffer as long as possible. My God, these splits are out of control. I feel bad for the dude. He gets to stand up for a moment and then back down, back down to the ground, buddy. Now my my decks are almost fully upgraded here. Perfect fight. I I, I literally just rested in a fight where I, I think I just got perfect. Um. I just rested in a fight. I got perfect. Why didn't no one tell me to perfect this easily? What? What? Where? Where was my thinking that I thought that I needed to rest? Where was my thinking? I guess I wasn't thinking about warp tongues. I. It wasn't even close. Yeah, I rested. My. Ah, uh, you know, it is what it is. I guess I underestimated the power of uh, weaken the damage and the upgrades of this. Of course, warp tongues carry that. And we got course surge, which I think is very good. But it's gonna be harder to find bias. We got alchemized on the defect though. Alchemized on the defect. So this is gonna give me Sozu. We've tested this. Now you guys were doubters. You guys doubted me. And I tested it live on stream yesterday. I don't know if Anthony saw. But we got Sozu. And confirmation bias means that this is 100% Sozu uh, if I click this. It's just how stats work. 100% of the time. No, I think we can do core surge here. Uh, yeah, I do core surge here. It really is interesting though. It's like hyper beam with like, instead of negative focus, we get ne burns. Now I'm gonna do the core surge. You see, I ooh, Sneko? Sneko or no rest? Oh, Heko Sneko? What must I say? Hey, what must I do to show you how much I think about freaking you? Sneko Shard is interesting. Sneko Shard is interesting. Are we? Are we is Anthony writing the title of the video right now? Sneko Shard. I mean, I feel like. Nah, you don't get to punch me out Sozu, yeah, so that's part of the joke, it's like, Alchemize tends to give you Sozu, and it's like, damn, wow, now I have a dead card. Um, so, Sneko, Sneko Iron's Prismatic Shard might, might be bad, yes. It might be bad. But, seven card draw, so... Well, no, I have one, two, a lot, a lot of my things are two. A lot of my things are one cost, but I have quite a bit of two costs streamline is going to be variable no matter what um and then obviously with the upgrades like warp tongue then zap and dual cast become a little bit worse 
because these become free. Whereas this, I don't no longer rests uh, with the fact that there's preserved insects and we have nice upgrades. And I think we have a decent deck as well with buffer plus and defrag plus. We may not need to rest. I'll go get some more tea. I'll be literally one second while I get some more tea. You guys uh, deliberate on this. Sneko. We're doing this for the Sneko Shard clickbait. Sneko Shard out of control. Dead on Act 2. The potential, though. It's always about the potential, Jeremy. But the Rhino. No, we're gonna, this is gonna. We're gonna. I mean, honestly, it's all in the heart of the cards. Let's just see what happens. Buffer's very nice. Snuggle's being very kind right now. Oh, heck on my Sneko. Oh boy, Sneko and Hologram. We talked about this. Hologram and Sneko are... We're getting trip offered to us. That's insane. Upgrade trip and what... That's out of control. Upgrade trip is fantastic, actually. My god, that's worth a, that's worth 100 gold right there. But this is so good with Sneko Eye. Sneko and Hologram is like, oh, you gotta take it. Yeah, it's Hologram. It's, no, it's Hologram for sure. 100%. Trip, trip is like... The, the cost might be awkward. Uh, so we can go remove a card now. Or we could uh, try to save our gold because we have a shop coming up. What do you guys think? I mean, I could remove two cards at the shop, right? Have we removed a card yet? Have we removed a card yet? We have. So the card removal is going to be a hundred. So technically, if I if I go to do this next fight and then we move now, so we can do. Remove here, remove at the shop, we get rid of two strikes, which is quite good, because if we get rid of two strikes, then the deck's going to be defense plus whatever stuff I get with Prismatic Shard. Say hi to your wife, Christina. Well, hello, wife, Christina. Yeah, I, I can remove two here, so it's, it's fine. Well, it depends if I can get the gold, like 17 gold here. I don't know if I can. But a uh, genetic item is ready to work. Genetic item is already amazing right now. Tangled, yeah, I don't, ooh, so Glacier's very nice. Discovery is kind of interesting. How Prismatic Shard is giving me Discovery, which is giving me a random card. Which is funny because Discovery is going to be a one, it's going to be three random cards from all three classes. I'm thinking Glacier though. We need Frost, we have Defrag. It's like no-brainer. Now... She doesn't get it. She doesn't get. She doesn't get stream watching. You mean? Does, does she tell you to stop watching streams in general, or is it, is, it, is it my stream in particular? She's like, I don't like that Jeremiah kid. His runs are too memey. I mean, I understand it. You know, some people some people are not accustomed to the memes. She doesn't get the memes. Uh, this is actually a rough turn here. So we could do buffer. Come on, buddy. We could do buffer and then mitigate 
12 damage, or we can do uppercut, strike, kill this guy, and then take some hits here. Or we could do, um, defrag, and just have this be a bad turn. Ah. Three months already. Boy, Sh three months already. Meeting. Time sure flies when memeing. D also, I appreciate the EU friendliness, my dude. Keep <laughs> being awesome. D. D. Thank you, man. Thank you, Janet. Welcome back. Uh, genetic. I want to get genetic out. I we can do genetic buffer, but I also want to do just like glacier and uppercut. Well, I want to get genetic out, but maybe we can sacrifice. So I can get uppercut out. We'll probably draw back into genetic anyways. Case in point. I want to see if I hit the guy on the right. Nice. And now we can do genetic. Now I could kill him now with a hologram, but I want to get genetic to get it scaled up. And this guy's going to die no matter what. Not bad. It could have been, been worse. Havoc plus. Greetings from Germany. Ah. Guten Tag. Have I brainwashed you? <laughs> Twitch does that. I will, I will take full responsibility for that one. You know, I don't like Havoc here. I'm going to skip. They're all low cost cards as well. Of course, we're just not back because we can stop this, uh, this debuff and we can do buffer as well. Not a bad first turn. I can, I could get lucky here. Oh, I should have done defect first. My bad. That was my bad. I'll save one buffer. Um hope that defrag first would have been that much of a difference. I want to get the frost out. Goodbye second defrag, but I mean, it should be okay. If we got through the worst of it. I apologize for the dogs, guys. Want to get genetic out? Genetic's getting pretty big. It's frequently getting upgraded with Warp Tongues too. Warp Tongues is actually kind of carrying. Took no damage that. Oh, we took no damage that fight. It's amazing. The next class will ring. I'm gonna skip here because I don't, I don't like any of these costs. So the problem with Prismatic Shard, you know, in on paper or you know, in practice, is that it often um, and Hogram is the best upgrade to get. Uh, we could argue that maybe I should just rest, but is that um, it often gives you some of the worst cards I get some of the worst comments from all the classes this is gonna hurt a little bit isn't it so we can either block for another five or we can go for let's go for damage I want to get this out for the frost <laughs> Cause I, I want to play. I mean, this is not bad. I'm thinking. Did I use focus pot here? I guess we can use focus pot. Yeah. I was gonna save it. The problem is we, we're gonna lose buffer here if I play one buffer here. Cause it's that's unfortunate. One sheet buffer is not the greatest, but hey, I guess it's better than nothing, right? Because what's going to happen is 
Uh, the guy's so clo close to dying that he's probably dead right here. We didn't get genetic out, but that's okay. Now, headbutt's very interesting. So, I want, how does headbutt operate? Man, this is just, it, it, Okay. How does headbutt operate with Sneko? I think it just keeps the card. So, the card's going to be random again. I don't know how useful this actually is in the context of my deck. I think headbutt's an interesting concept on the. It's like a rebound. Eh, it's, it's like worse than a hologram, basically. It's, it's worse than a hologram, for sure. I mean, it's an interesting concept because it's a. Uh, it's a different kind of recursion. What's up, Ascended Celery? How you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and. If Madison gets hit by Tongs, is free again? Really? Can you confirm that, Anthony? If Madness gets hit by Tongs, becomes free? Yeah, if you can put back Glacier, it's, 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 so basically, Headbutt's okay to recur cards like, Headbutt's okay to recur cards like, um, Genetic Algorithm, because say I couldn't play Genetic Algorithm, so I need to make sure I want to have Block for the next turn. Who's the boss real quick? Champ? Okay. So I can Headbutt to like, recur Genetic for the next turn, or things like Glacier, because you want to keep getting as much Frost as possible, but I think I might just pass. It, if Tong hits, its cost will reduce, but because it would already have had had it set first. Interesting. I like headbutt in, in, in a way, but let's go ahead and pass. This seems like an okay upgrade because we get two weak and two vulnerable, and from now we can start resting more because a lot of upgrades are not that useful aside, aside from that. We're gonna go for a couple of elites just because we have. Uh, Purge of Insects. Alright, so here we can kill one of them. It's an interesting dilemma here, because I can do like... I can kill the guy in the back right now, or I can try to diversify my damage and do... Extreme Line here, Core Church here, and make them all low, but I think just killing one of them... Because he's at 6 right now. So I can diversify my damage, but then I'm taking so much. Yeah, it's, it's too costly. Too much, too much health I'm losing there. Genetic algorithm is fantastic here. Oh, maybe Zap is better there. See if we get lucky. Nice. Perfect elite fight. So far. I can do buffer or I could defend zap. Let's do defend zap here. Bank. Love it. Offering. Offering seems okay. Like, so you, despite the fact that, like, that it costs 6 HP and we don't have the Ironclad effects to bring that back, I still think that's a very good card. Am I wrong? I mean, it does hurt, especially more on defect, right? But we have buffer. We can use buffer to, to mitigate that do 6 HP. Snake also makes the cost randomized, so it. it not only am I going to have seven cards, so often offering may not have enough space to do its thing, but it's also uh, may not be zero cost. And it may, it, since it's not always going to be free, then maybe it's not always worth it, especially considering that it, it does make you lose six HP, which is either going to be buffer proc or just your life. Yeah, so it could be more expensive, but I feel like on the in general, you're, you're happy to have Offering. Because it's effective giving you energy and card draw. On those 
those those one off turns with Sneko not being too kind to you, this can kind of mitigate some of the bad turns of Sneko away. It's a tough call though. It's like you want to hedge your weaknesses and potential bad turns. But this could also create a bad turn where it's a, just a curse in a hand, so it's hard to say. What's up, Berloading? How you doing? On defect, you want Havoc? Now, Havoc's interesting on defect because... Uh, what Havoc is doing is... Exhausting the deck and making it... Like, what would be the ideal thing to get down to? Ideally, I maybe want to get down to like... Glacier, Streamline, Uppercut. I, I can see the concept of exhausting on defect very powerful. But this could be... The randomness is not that great. Like, I don't want to hit genetic... Prematurely. Pretty much genetic prematurely. That's pretty much it. And we didn't have Headbutt. Yeah, I know. We could take Headbutt Havoc. We could do Headbutt Havoc and do some expensive stuff. I think Trigger is better than Havoc as well. I agree. I'm gonna escape. Although, I... I I might regret not taking this, just because I feel like this can hedge some bad turns. Alright, anyways. Uh, I think now we can start resting, just to be safe. Upgrade strikes and defense. Now we can... Do we care about upgrading... So, we upgrade three to four defense and two strikes. Or we can remove another strike and let Tongs do its work on the rest of the remaining deck. I actually might do the elegant play here. Remove a strike. Yes, I'm missing out on four upgrades, but... Well, actually, by doing that, by upgrading all these cards, it makes Tongs hits another target. So that means I'm more frequently going to get upgrade on... Glacier, Charge, Battery, Dual Cast, dual Genetic, etc, etc, etc. So it means Tongs hits better cards, but at the same time, it means I'm going to draw on some better cards if I remove. I like removing here, but... I, I upgrade's probably 100% better. Not 100%, but... Close to being much better. Not a bad first turn. I want to use this region pot. I may not use it for the rest of the life, but I want to just save a potion slot. Alright, so I want to play buffer. Or maybe we just do streamline genetic here. Hologram uppercut again. Defrag glacier. Let's try to slow it down a little bit because we do want to get a full heal here. I mean, I can end the fight right here. But with buffer in play, I feel like we can milk this a little bit longer, right? Just a little bit longer. So right now I'm gonna be at um Yeah, I, I can milk it a little bit longer. I know I know he's there streamline, but It ended up being the same anyway, so I took two damage there. Alright. Bronze is very nice. Relax, boy. Okay, so Dark Shackles is actually very nice. This is very, very, very nice. I like Dark Shackles a lot, but... Alright, the cost is random, but this is such a good, such a heart stopping card. It's good for the execute, it's good for time eater, it's good for awaken one. It's just such a good card. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Sorry, I'm just making sure these values are not going crazy here. I want to keep doing hallway fights because I want to keep getting card selection. I mean, I'm I'm loving all these card selections. I'm having a blast. 
Go for vulnerable now. Get the guy out of the way. Dark Shackle just made this guy do nothing. Dark Shackle for me was an apparition right there. Dark Shackle was an apparition. Or a, a genetic algorithm in, in effect. Refrag, streamline. Oh, we just win. Get the genetic algorithm out and we win. Alright, so genetic scaled. Perfect fight. Doing great with this deck. Acrobatics seems interesting. So. I mean, the cost may be variable, but I think the ability to have some card draw. You know, for turns that might be bad. I think Acrobatics is pretty good. Especially if after this boss fight, I get a um, an energy relic. Yeah, Dark Shackles is pretty good, uh, even at one cost, of course. It's negative 15 strength is amazing. I have 7 cards all turn, I know. I have 7 cards all turn. I draw 7 cards a turn. For me, this, uh, this is like a roll more. It's not so much that I feel like I'm not spending all my energy, it's more like I want to try to mitigate some bad Sneckle turns. It's Warp Tongues. It's a no H. Uh, I know I have Cortro, but I, I, I... Maybe this is me thinking about the game wrong, but I like, I like that concept. One thing I'm a little bit worried about, though, is... I don't... I feel like I have the greatest deck for the champ. Take care, Hannah. I can say buffer, or I could just get it out of the way. Yeah, I don't really have the deck for the champ. I think champ champ is um one of the harder ones for me. Cause I don't have any way to go infinite with hologram. And then I don't I'm not scaling in any way. I don't have powers from creative AI. Like there's a lot of things that break the champ open, whether it be scaling from Dark Orb, scaling from other source like strength or dexterity or whatever, powers that kind of get out of control, or infinite potential of hologram, I had none of those things. The champ is usually very, it's very easy depending on the deck, I just feel like I have a particular set of cards that just don't really abuse the champ. So what I could try to do is um, just rush for damage, and utilize buffer plus fear pot to just, you know, burn him down. And use Dark Shackles as well to kind of survive the execute, as well as genetic algorithm. This is a turn where I feel like acrobatics might be useful. It's very variable, but um, use genetic now feels kind of it. Eh. I could just use a buffer now, but it doesn't feel that great. But I what? The, like I said, genetic and buffer are interchangeable, aren't they? Maybe genetic has more value. I would say they're interchangeable because his multi-hit is only two hits, right? So we can say the genetic and, and buffer are interchangeable. And would, would we like to get buff genetic out of the deck already? So if we get it out of the deck, that means we're going to find like charge battery and glacier more often. So let's get it out of the deck. I'm a little worried here just because
I'm, I just I usually have something that I can scale for this guy. Like if I had Blizzard, maybe then there's there's that. I don't know. Uh, just go full full frost. Why not? Let me see here. Alright, so he's at 220. There's the weekend. This might be a turn for buffer. Like this gives me that, but yeah, let's get the weekend. This might be a turn for buffer unless we get something very good. So that's that, that's hologram kind of mitigating a bad draw for me. We can do charge battery again, right? So that's gonna be 10. Ah, I'm gonna be one one block short. I might even just do plate armor just to get that block. Unless I do acrobatics again and try to get good RNG. Cause that charge battery is 23 block. I might just do plate it. Just to save buffer here. I did the math wrong actually. I had 15. So it was 25. Not 23. So we were fine. Alright, so uh, the problem here is by if I do it now, he's doing another effect on me. So if I had split him, or if I had put him low last turn, then I wouldn't be frail or vulnerable for the execute. But if I do it now, then I'm going to be frail and vulnerable, or at least vulnerable for sure, for the execute. So maybe we should just wait here. It feels kind of bad. I may not have the proper timing. Or we can just go do it now. If we have vulnerable, whatever, we have buffer, and then from there we'll just be. Because uh, I didn't really keep a track of the negative, negative effects. Ideally, you want to try to make him go below on the last turn to avoid this. This is, is going to make me vulnerable for the next like, three turns, I believe. I mean, I have buffer strike. Maybe I could just um, buffer and dark strike. So maybe I can just go ahead and start pestering him down. Even though it's not the best damage turn for me. Uh, if I wait, if I wait, well, the lightning arm doesn't make it that easy to wait for me. In terms of vulnerable is whatever. Uh, not the greatest turn. So acrobatics could be a thing, or maybe just do a hologram for the streamline. The hologram for the streamline is doing some damage. It's better than nothing. Not ideal. Dark cycles nice to be nice. Dark cycles now. No such, no such luck. Uh, we can preserve one buffer, maybe that's okay. Let me see. We got 12. If I do this, I'm getting 14 plus 12, 26 plus 10. We preserve one buffer with this way. Um, I'm gonna do Fear Pot. Uh, party wants to do Hall of Rim Streamline again and then do Acrobatics. Got Hall of again. Now I can do a Hall of Charge Battery, Hall Ram. I can do Acrobatics again, actually. I can do Charge Battery. Maybe I just rather do this instead and just get a really big turn like this. And we can do Zap. And we can, we can throw a Glacier in there. So dark shackles aim yourself a buffer. Do 
GG. Perfect fight. So we got Biased, which we said was going to be a little bit harder to find with the Prismatic Shard. But we got Biased with the Course Surge, so that's that's pretty nice. I mean, that, for me, that's, a pick, that's an easy pick. Emulate, no. Secret Technique. Secret Technique is interesting. It's a very, it's a very valuable card, Secret Technique is. But I, I don't see it being better than Bias here. Ah, uh, Black Star. Let's go. Ah, that was a little snap pick. A little snap picky. Nuclear battery wasn't bad. More energy. I like Black Star because we're going to guarantee... Um, that was a little snap pick of me, actually. But we'll make it worth it. I didn't really think about the options there. I think nuclear battery was a consideration because energy is nice. But at the same time, maybe we go for a lot of elites. I don't, how much elites can we do? Uh, it's tough to say. I don't think the deck's that strong. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, or one, two. Hmm. What's up, David? How you doing? How you doing, Strain? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Nuclear Battery will help me for some of the bad turns, because energy... We do have Happy Flower, we do have uh, Lantern, right? So, I think like Lantern and Happy Flower plus Charge Battery are doing some work for us. But that Nuclear Battery could have been nice. Anyways, too late. One, two, three, four. Can we do four Elites, though? I think with Preserve, preserve Vincic is not that bad. What What's the worst thing for our deck? I would say maybe the Giant Head is the worst for the deck. Reptomancer might be problematic because we don't have that much AoE. So Reptomancer is probably going to be pretty bad as well. I don't have a good way to manage the ads with Reptomancer. So we want to hit a shop. I want to hit a shop and then maybe we just go with this path. Elite and two elites. So we won't get the four elite path. But maybe that's for the better. Reptomancer would be really bad for us. Uh, I want to see the shop because I have a lot of gold. I think we're going to go to shop here and prioritize that path. We got Corsair's Bias. awkward. I don't want to take any damage here. Did I play genetic yet? I haven't played genetic yet. I'm not going to touch anything until I use genetic here. Double Streamline? Okay, how do we feel about Double Streamline? Deck has been surprisingly resilient. Resilient. Well, here's the thing. The a lot of resiliency comes from Buffer and um, Genetic Algorithm. And, you know, obviously we do have Defrag and Glacier, which is nothing to scoff at. So Defrag Glacier does a lot of work. And the Genetic Algorithm is a nice little get out of jail free card. Buffer is very nice. We got Weaken with Uppercut, so the Weaken has been very useful. And then we have Warp Tongue, so... Our cards are getting upgraded, so our deck's getting stronger as the fights go on. I'm getting better block. It's funny, you say the deck could use a barricade, and I had the relic that could just make that happen, so let's see what happens. But, um, streamline number two, it might be redundant here. I think we'll pass. Although, yeah, I think we'll pass here. Although, I can see Leap being interesting. And leap, which can be leap plus. I mean, we have buys with defrag and frost. What what does this deck ultimately want? It wants electrodynamics to handle AoE for the Reptomancer and for the Donor Deca. It wants 
It might want a creative AI as well. But creative AI is a little awkward. It wants an echo form. Yeah, I don't think you should monetize... You shouldn't monetize modding scene. I know I met, somebody asked the other day if you need to pay for mods. And I think... Yeah, mods should be open source. Like, if you want to add DLC to the game, like, oh, like a brand new character, $5 for a brand new character, that's a different story. You guys work hard on a new character, you want to charge $5 to do that. Like, I, I don't think anybody would blame you guys. You guys work very hard in the game. If you guys want to monetize a new character, DLC, that's cool. I think mod is, in general, is an open source thing, isn't it? Like, I don't, you don't really pay for that. I don't think any game does. It's an open source community. Besides, it's uh, it's not even his property, right? Mods are people, other people's property, intellectual property. But I mean, they are modding his the, their game, so it is. I don't know the logistics of that. Retrace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's never a good idea. Uh, this might be a pass. I could do... I could just use Mass, use Mass XP. What's up, Nemesis? How you doing? Alright, we have a lot of gold. Okay. Rune Thetaki Hedron might get value here, actually. So, Rune Thetaki Hedron is giving me gold right now. Sorry, I mean, giving me energy right now. And that's pretty relevant when I have Snake Y and want to play a lot of cards. I think Cool Head is pretty nice as well. I never... like. Something's wrong when I'm considering buying Rooney Tordeki Hedron for 284 gold. Something's wrong. This can't be right. The bomb. The bomb.com. I like the bomb. I'm a fan. That's some decent AoE. And this could actually be. This could be relevant for Dono Deca, but also relevant for. We've had this work with the heart, and we've also. Reptomancer. This can manage a Reptomancer. But Runic and Bandage is interesting. Yeah, you can do Runic and this can help it stay, stay full. Keep in mind, we can't... We don't have that many good upgrade targets, so we're probably going to be resting more often than not. And our deck is doing pretty well with mitigating damage with buffer and genetic algorithm so that we can stay healthy most of the time. And then on top of the fact that if we have energy from a Runic to like a Hedron, we're playing more cards because we're drawing seven cards, so we can probably play more blocks more Glacier Recursion. I mean, I feel like Runic's pretty good here. Although, this... I like Cool Headed as well. I think the bomb might actually be useful, but I don't know if I can do both, can I? What's the math here? 400... Nope. I'm short. Yeah, that'll, be, that'll be super cool, though. I think the bomb is actually pretty good. This AoE is relevant. I very relevant for Reptomancer and Donor Decca. And a deck that wants to kind of just like play a lot of cards and use Frost and Weaken and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I'm actually a little sad that I can't buy the Bomb and the, and the Runic. What if I just do Bomb instead? Uh, runic is actually very good though. Jesus, it's such a tough shot. I love Cool Headed. More Frost, which is pretty good for the amount of focus we have with Biased and Defrag. And more Card Draw. But card Draw... Okay, we, we talked about we draw in a lot of cards as it is, but this is kind of just like a either play more because we have a lot of zero cost or the turn's kind of awkward. We want to see more to have better turns. So it's like it hedges some of the weaknesses or potentially gives us the ability to do a lot more. Uh, that's probably second priority to these two cards, to these, these two things. I use even got the one. I'll use Runic after one fight, and uh, not necessarily, because my deck is doing really well at staying healthy with Buffer, Genetic Algorithm, and everything else, and we have Anchor as well. So, not necessarily. But Runic does have the potential to be useless. Free gold off, man. It's crazy. Let me sell this potion. Let me see. I move one more strike. And I, I like the cool hitter, although we can save for there's another shop in Act 4. There's a shop right here, but I want to hit... I want to hit... Maybe I'll save for the Act 4 shop here. I want more holograms. 
One problem with Curse Shard here. Oh, we got Core Shard's biased. And we got the bomb. The fight not may, may not last that long, but. One well, problem with Curse Shard is that you find less um, holograms, which holograms is probably one of your best cards for Snake Away. Let's get the Frost going. I know I could um, do Upcut, but. I've got buffer for free. I mean, you see how acrobatics is like a very positive thing. When you have Snake Away and things are randomized, I think acrobatics is, is... I don't see it ever being a bad thing. I find it hard to ever be bad. I mean, no, there's times where it's bad, but I think... The bomb wastes no time. In fact, I think it's a new genetic. Bomb, you're actually too quick. Slow down a little bit. Before I know it, the bomb just took over. That was actually insane, bomb. Hmm. Okay, so we got 999 gold of two normality. Now, let's take a look at that gold. The shop, closest shop is over here. I have to get through this elite fight with two normality, and then I got to go through this fight, and then I got to do that shop, and then I miss the elite along the way. I think we just take the rare relic here. Gold would be very nice, but I don't have any convenient removal soon, soon enough that I think... I think we'll pass here. The merchant. Yeah. The merchant likes to give uh, get going to give it away. That's that is a good call. I want to find. Double bomb would be nice, right? But I want to find... He's weakened for four turns. I mean, upper guard's been massive in this deck. There's biased. All right. Now, only problem here is... Here's what I want to do, actually. Uh, I want to get defrag, but I might... Not defrag. Oh, genetic. There we go. Acrobatics, man. I want to find Glacier, but... Genetic works. We can do buffer now. We can do bomb. Um, well, I just want to not take any damage here, so it's one of those awkward turns where I just have to pass and do nothing, I suppose. The bomb has already got this guy very low. Guys, very low as it is. Destroying this fight. All right, GG. Let's see, ready needle. Wow. Now this is very strange. This is the first time I've ever seen three defect cards with prismatic shard. That's a little weird. It almost seems bugs. I'm almost freaked out by this. Because now shard is being a little, how do I say, uh, biased here? Uh, white noise. Uh, you know, powers are very nice for this deck. I, I can imagine this deck would, would definitely look like some powers. Capacitor, echo form, not hello worlds. Um, heat sinks okay. Storm eh. Static discharge, sure, but not really. Uh, I, I can fit one white noise in the deck. Sure, why not? We need electrodynamics. It's also another thing to take for electrodynamics, by the way. So we got bias now with no f artifacts, and we can. So there's a couple things we could do. We could start putting damage on the Reptomancer. I could do I could dig for core shirts now with acrobatics. Alright, I'm thinking we do glacier. I'm thinking we do this right here. Bam. Bam. Now I'm not gonna do bias just yet because I wanna kind of guarantee that with focus. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble with these minions though. I think I might just die. Okay, the bomb is crucial. 
Bomb's crucial. It's a little slow, though. A little late. And I can't do defrag and genetic, and I want to do genetic this turn, so... I got the Corsairs, but I don't have time to play that, so... It's because I did energy power first turn. If I did energy power this turn, then we have genetic oh. and defrag or Corsairs as well. Here, we're gonna go ahead and... These are both things I want to play. I want to play all these three of these cards, but I don't have time. Or energy, rather. And I'm a little worried about these minions that I don't really have ways to handle. That's one way to handle one of them. Okay. Now, this could be... Is it energy weapon stake? I don't think so. So we'll take a hit. We'll take a hit, I suppose. Unless... Could be worse. The bomb's gonna work here, right? And we got bias now. We got bias with glacier. And we can get the bomb again, so that's gonna be good for staggering the next minions. And then we're gonna do buffer here, because we have 18 plus 19 is enough to cover. And the bomb's ending at the end of this turn, so that's amazing. The bomb is crucial. And then we have buffer for this, and we have bomb taken over, and then we just win now. Bomb again. Bomb again. Oh boy, a little slow, a little late, but you know what? Now I just win for sure. It's just disgusting. Another bomb. We have four bombs. Bam. Blood Vial. Smooth Stone. Blood Vial is fantastic. Get back to more life. Malaise. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Heart, hello. You want a disarm or do you want a malaise, Heart? You pick, you choose. I have to use the bathroom. Give me one second. Malaise. <laughs> yeah, malaise is great. We'll do more leads. This guy's a little bit worrisome. A little bit worrisome, so I'm, I'm, I'm being a little greedy here. Oh, with the I totally forgot we had the bomb. It's upgraded too. I want to see what White Nose gives us. Oh, you know what? Do we do do the artifact now, or do we? We should save it for the heart, yeah? We get to guarantee get buys artifacts on the heart or the elite fight. I think we, um... This went pretty well, Bash. We have a nice little deck going on. Sneko Shard. Coined by Anthony. He says, Sneko Shard. Rather, other way around. Or I guess it's fading because Sneko, right? Make it all confused. Normally this is a curse, but so far this curse has been taking us pretty far. I don't think we're pressed to do ancient... Ah... Uh, I don't think we're impressed to do artifact buys, but this does seem like the hardest boss fight for us. It depends on how many bombs we can get, though. I'm not gonna do that bust. But then it's gonna be sitting in my deck. It's gonna be sitting in my deck, and I already have one bias to contend with. Whatever. I could use it as a secondary second half of the fight. Let's go do course surge bias now. Alright, now we can do Streamline Hologram Streamline, we can do Malaise, get it out of the way. We could do Bomb again. So we have two bombs up, and that's 100 damage right now. Sitting there waiting. We have buffers. We've got Dark Cycles here if we need to. We've got buffer as well. We've got Uppercut Streamline. And we got another Streamline as well. On top of the 100 damage we already have, sitting and waiting. We need to dual cast here, because we're going to draw into Glacier in the next turn, most likely. There it is. We got Genetic as well. We want to use Genetic. Now, we can just do that. We can do the Bomb, but I want to use Genetic because I want to get scaled up before the fight's over. 
But I want to keep doing the bomb because I don't want to lose damage. So if we do that, we'd take in buffer, right? Well, it's 16 plus 19. Let's do the bomb. And we'll, we'll do genetic another time. Got to keep the damage output going. Bomb again. And now we do genetic, bomb, and then genetic, and then glacier, and then we win. Oh my god. That's another 100 damage. So that's guaranteed lethal. So what I got to do is, hey, I got lethal guaranteed in two turns. And I got two buffers. I can pass and just let you just die. Just do it. Bomb, take it away, buddy. Don't gotta worry about a thing. Take it away, buddy. Focus spot's fantastic. Gold plate is very nice. Focus spot's fantastic. Shrug it up's very nice. I like it, I like it, I like it. Cannot forget about Sapphire Key here. I think I like Shrug it off here. That'd be kind of nice if I took the headbutt as well. I'm gonna take the Shrug, because we have smooth stones, a little bit better. Especially if it's upgraded, that's potentially 12 block. Great, Sapphire Key here. It's a tough Sapphire Key to drop, you know, but it is what it is. Tough key, t I mean, it's just a tough relic to let go, I mean, what I meant to say. Give me like an Echo Form here. That's okay. Get some more energy. Next turn we have 5 energy. Actually, 6 energy next turn. 6 energy next turn. Wow, wow, wow. That means, that, means that this uh, malaise is pretty juicy. Am I going to take damage here? Or how about we do buffer and then malaise? Take no damage and this guy is malaise for 7. Intense. Bomb. Streamline. Do I play artifacts? What's up, Merit Kit? Oh, you asked me in Discord and I never got around to it. I guess I'll just address it here. You asked about mod or whatever. The thing is, like, I don't... The chat and, like, my chat and stuff like that... It's got a pretty good chat, pretty good community, so... I don't really need more mods. Um... All they ask for, like, a mod is that they're active and, like, they, you know... Good head on their shoulders about, you know, moderating, but... Just being active and being here and being supportive. But I don't really have a reason to, to need more mods. But if there's ever a, a reason to get more mods, I, I I think you're a perfectly fine candidate. And I hope you don't feel awkward when we talk about it in public or whatever. It's not. You did ask in a public forum. Uh, we can do course search biased here. The next I want to scale up. And bomb's about to take over. Bomb's about one more bomb and we win. I like letting bomb win the fight for us. Ooh, and this is getting kind of spicy. So he's looking at 45 damage here. We also have lethal. What's up, Stratvin? Been watching these for a half a year or so. Have fun, man. Hey, thank you, man. Welcome. And charge battery plus. I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I like it. Am I making the deck worse? I don't think so. We we want to go to the shop, right? But we also want to maximize the elites because we're trying to get as much black star value as possible, especially at preserve insects. So we just fought the giant head. It's gonna be Reptomancer or it's gonna be the Nemesis. It's Reptomancer was a little bit troublesome last time, and we got kind of lucky, I I would say, with what did we get? We got electro no electro dynamics. We had the bomb. The bomb. Okay, I think the Reptomancer with the bomb is actually probably fine. This fight's probably fine. It's kind of awkward. How do you time the bomb for this fight? So it's in three turns, so that means... If I were to play a bomb now... Intangible. So it's at the end of my turn, right? At the end of my turn... So he's going to become intangible, and at the end of my turn, I think the intangible takes the damage, doesn't it? That's going to be awkward. I want to do defrag defend here. Got to get core surge out eventually. Let's go ahead and just get malaise now. The burns are going to be problematic. I don't want to waste too much time in this fight. There's the bomb. So, if I'm if I'm correct, not intangible. 
first turn. Okay, intangible second turn. Not intangible last turn. End of this turn, he hits the intangible, right? Or the end of my turn, he doesn't get his intangible just yet. I, mean, I might as well just find out, huh? So we'll just find out now. White noise became free because of uh, warp tongues. Ugh, the valley. So, end of my turn. Now, does he get the intangible as soon as my turn's over? Because I don't want to depend on the bomb. If the bomb is not going to do any damage, then I should probably do upgrade instead. Because I would like to do the bomb, but if, up if upgrade's better, then upgrade's better. He's smaller because of preserved insects. Uh, my decision whether or not I do bomb or uppercut here depends on what happens right now with the bomb. I'm not sure. I think he gets intangible at the start of his turn or is it at the end of his turn? I think it's at the end of my turn. Let's see. Oh, no, nice. Okay, gets at the start of his turn. Okay, perfect. And that, only work that works for, like, reflect damage, but it doesn't matter for the, uh... Our beautiful. Bomb is perfect. He just... We, we won. We won, we won. Did we get genetic arm out? Yeah, we did. Alright, beautiful. So this is a perfect fight. Just that end and I win. Trying to avoid the bird damage here. Whoa! Data disc potion belt. That's fantastic because we want more cow chips for the heart. Oh, but there's true grit as well. My god, I'm getting. This is getting spicy. Cow chips with bronze scales is 8 reflect damage per thing. Then we have malaise on top of it. So let's say we do a nice malaise on this after the third turn when the debuff wears off. Or whether he does this little thing where he moves debuffs. Then we have potentially 0 times 15 with 8 reflect damage. Pretty spicy. Another thing is True Grit to thin out the deck and make it down to just Bomb, Glacier, Hologram. Okay, maybe not that small, but ideally the cards we want to play the most are Bomb, Glacier, and Hologram. And True Grit can start managing the things like Defense. They're both very interesting. It's funny, if you guys only knew how much this Cursed Shard was has failed me in the past. Black Shard is fantastic, yeah. Black Shard is even more fantastic when you have the Preserve Insects. Uh, cow traps. But you think Body Stamp with Genetic Algorithm? I don't think that's worth it just for the Genetic Algorithm. Yeah, it's not bad damage, but I'm thinking our damage is fine with Bomb. I like Caltrop because it also makes the deck thinner. By I want to say play it, it doesn't clog the deck, but Sugar it makes the deck actively thinner. And it's more block as well. And it manages burns. So we, we saw that there's burns and wounds in the hard fight. And maybe this can help me manage that. Is that better? Like, am I worried about getting an extra 5 reflect damage? Which will be... Like 75 damage to the heart on his multi-hit, which is pretty significant. Versus... The ability to thin out the wounds and burns, and also do bomb more often, which ends up being 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. I kind of like the true grid here. It's a tough choice. I know we're taking a while here on this decision. I mean, I could do defrag, but I kind of want to do the bomb. Malaise now. Buffer is fantastic in this fight. We got buffer as well as genetic and dark shackles. I mean, it's hard to lose. 
Let's do Glacier here. I'm sure we need to be upgraded. Next turn we have the bomb frocking. Yeah, for the white noise. Come on, white noise, not like this. So now we need to get buffer out for two and then genetic for the next one we win. Buffer for the next one we win. What's that noise? One second. One second. It's a white noise. <laughs> there was like some loud banging. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know. I normally get banging because I'm on. I'm like on the highest floor. And there's like a mini roof. There must be some people up, up on the roof, like working or something. Because it was a really loud bang. It's funny. We're actually gonna be full life after the blood vial. So it's. That's how it's all worked out. Man, our deck just has so many answers. It's got buffer for the big mo big hits on the heart. Panic button's another buffer, essentially, or apparition, or... I mean, th there's a downside to this, because you can't get... Uh, you can't get um, block for returns, but... If you use this the proper way, let's say you use it on the second attack of the heart, the next turn he's not attacking anyways, right? And then if you do it on, like, his multi-hit, then the next hit you probably have buffer. Oh, wow, I didn't realize how good the beta art was. <laughs> okay, I like it. Can we get Apparition from Bouchard? You can get App can you get Apparition from Bouchard? What's up, Dino Blade? How you doing? You can't get Apparition from Bouchard? You, you make sure to check that box, huh? Another pa panic, panic button, so we have genetic, we have buffer, we have panic button. Lots of nice ways to, you know what, I'm doing it. I want to upgrade True Grit. I want to, see, I wanted to go here because I might get a shot, but I also want to get more cards because cards have been very, very... It's been very nice seeing all these different cards with Prismatic Shard, and um... I still think we maybe want like a barricade or something. Although we, we have Focus Pot, we have Artifacts, we have a lot of good stuff. Uh, this event could be... What other events are there? It can make me lose a card. It's, it is a... Uh, you know, it might also be enemies, I know, but I, I think I want guaranteed enemies here. What's up, Chrissy? How'd you sleep, Chrissy? I know it's early for you. You're over in the future. How is the future? Oh, I might have made a mistake here. No mistake. Oh, I just got rid of my artifacts. No worries. Nobody saw a thing. Everything's fine. I played that one bad. Senior Punts coming directly to you from a theater near you. Hello, Senior Punt. Tell me about the time you used the uh, artifacts on Panic Button. Well, you know... I was trying to be cheeky, but I made a mistake. Let me see. This is block and pass? Well, no, it's not enough. Is this the time for me to do energy pot? Sure, why not? Horrible player. I'm a horrible player of Fala. So here we're gonna let we're gonna let Bomb take over. Yeah, no, not no bias, which is a little unfortunate. We have buffer at least, right? So we can let Buffer take two hits here. Uh, we can get the Weaken. Alright, Buffer's taking two hits regardless. 
one hit actually because of the weekend and then we can do um try to recur bomb again how much was the bomb last time two e and true is too expensive to actually be useful but true is actually getting kind of an ugly addition to the deck maybe i was getting too creative with the true grit because it hasn't been that useful Uh, please don't be cursed. Please don't be cursed. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to risk the fact that it might be cursed. I didn't want to risk that. Alright, we got down to 19 because of the bomb. We want to get genetic out there. It's going to die very soon. More bombs. Alright, so we win and guarantee three turns. The sugar it, the streamline. I'm trying to pretend like Shinlan, like, Trigger wasn't a mistake. He's trying to curse me. I don't like that. Don't, don't curse. Stop that. Alright, and one turn we win. Actually, we win next turn. Oh, we win right now. More shrug it off. I'm, I'm down with that. Alright, so... We could smith... What would we smith? More acrobatics for more card draw, or we can get the bomb upgraded so that I think the damage of the bomb is pretty relevant, I would say, right? For or well, more focus. Ah, I think focus would be nice. I think more damage on the bomb is pretty nice. Going against Dono and Deca. So we want to get better AoE, more damage. Also, maybe more card draw, but I think it's between bias bomb and Maybe malaise or panic button, but most likely bias and bomb. Why is like this really butter your egg roll? Maybe catch ups is right. Catch ups could have been right, yeah, because catch ups wouldn't have clogged up my deck, right? True grit, it's variable cost, so it may just end up being a curse. Well, at least catch ups, okay, I play it, and then I don't have to worry about it again, and then I can just keep going through my deck. But true grit does have potential, have potentially has a better upside, but there's obviously the downside of it being a curse. I think we'll upgrade the bomb here. Although bias is pretty... I will upgrade the bomb. Bomb for me is going to be Donald Duggo. MVP. I mean... I have to not take damage. If we can trigger it now... See again, trigger is just kind of awkward. But maybe not though. Trigger is not awkward here. Maybe it's not. Like so... My whole turn gets monopolized by trigger it. I'm, I would much rather do Glacier though. Because we want to get some Frost going. Question is, do we use any of our potions? It's just an awkward snake wide turn. Because you want to do the bomb. You don't want to waste any time on the bomb. But then you don't want to lose plated armor. Like I could do defend bomb, but I'm losing plated armor here. I could do Glacier, get the Frost, which is going to be important when I inevitably get defragging and biased out. What's up, Kapu? Yeah, it's just a... Uh, just a lot of awkward costs here. Like, true defend would be very nice as well for the future of this fight. Even though there's days. I'd do this and pass. I'm just trying to be whether or not I want to use potions here. I have... I most definitely want to save the focus pot for Act 4. It's a long run, I know. It's, 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 it's a long run. I doing Dawson? Hi, doing Luke. I, I think I said saying your name wrong. Um, Lukey Jez. Luck, Lukey Jez. White noise. Give me Electro Dynamics. Uh, We got the deep frag. We got acrobatics. We got core search. Core search is nice. Um, we got hologram coming up. So if we're lucky, let's say I'm lucky, and I do acrobatics, and I hit hologram, and I can do core search bias. I want to go for it. Although maybe I'd rather just do charge battery. That's an awkward turn. 
I would like to do acrobatics, core surge, and maybe do hollow. That's too much, too much variable. Whereas this right here is. I'm losing some life. Like if I want to play core surge, I'm gonna lose some, some stuff here. Maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. Just so I can get core surge out. Last was three costs. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Hologram would wouldn't be useful. At least I can write some give me like genetic algorithm or something. All right, we'll just get the core surge out. Hold on to malaise, even though. So buffer's nice. We do genetic now, genetic and buffer, and then maybe do malaise just to get rid of the artifacts. It feels bad getting using malaise to get rid of artifacts because malaise could be a way to like really. To really make sure that Decca doesn't get out of control. Because right now our deck's kind of slow. Especially with all these random costs. And getting Malays to get rid of artifacts was kind of... Like how was we getting rid of artifacts otherwise, though? Uppercut? Alright. Charge, charge. We can save genetic, right? So charge, charge is doing 19... 29, 32. The guy's doing 36. I can't do charge charge when I'm talking about. Hologram's doing nothing. Okay, so we just do a genetic thing. Do we? Yeah, we just do genetic here. Although this could be so much value later on. Do we do... Do we just use one buffer and save genetic for a bigger, bigger turn? Because genetic could be treated as like two buffers. Genetic is enough block that it could be treated as two buffers, whereas one buffer proc here is probably okay versus using genetic. So malaising him. I don't really want to malaise Donu. But maybe I don't really care. Because he's, he's the guy I'm mostly going to kill first. So malaising him. Interesting consideration. My point though is that I want to save Malaise after uppercut on Decca, and then use Malaise on Decca while hopefully getting time to do damage from Donu, but I'm running out of time, it looks like. I know it seems like everything's fine, but it doesn't feel fine. These, these, these energies have been pretty bad. It's three. Every card costs two with three energy. Anything else costs one, then I'm not having to think so much. Well, this would be negative four and four. So we're looking at like 12 times two. I'm losing a buffer regardless that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow myself to lose a buffer here. Because I think genetics can have more value. I need bias. I need my bias. We need to get bombs out. We need bias. We need to get bombs and bias. Bombs and bias. Where's the bias? I can get rid of things like defend plus. Do I want to do that? Then that makes my deck more susceptible to days, but maybe maybe that's what I want to do. Yeah. I gotta get upgrade in Decca so I can get Malays in Decca. There's the bomb. There's genetic. So this is a good time to do bomb and genetic. I also want to do uppercut to get rid of the artifacts from Malays. So it's a, is it uppercut genetic or is it the bomb genetic? Hmm. We gotta get the bomb out because they're, they're scaling up and we want to start doing the 50 damage. It's pretty relevant. But I also want to get uppercut so I can get my lays and it also buys me time. What's more important here? Genetic now also feels kind of. Like, what if I just do dual cast here? Dual cast and then like acrobatics look for something else because 
We're already at 42, and Jeanette can be... Again, I can get more value out of it. Because I'm already blocking for... For 21. So if I do dual cast... It's 24 plus 3. It's 27 plus 9 is... Uh, 33. Sorry, 36. So I just need... I do dual cast, all I need is... Um, 8 block. I can save genetic and buffer. Now we can do trigger again, so we can get rid of things like the zap. And we're making the deck smaller. We're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna go ahead and get the bomb out and uh, yep, pass it like that. But maybe getting rid of zap was not the smartest thing. I'm not sure. So we don't get to get the malaise here because we didn't do uppercut. And we could do dark shackles now. And that just buys me time this turn, which allows me to do hologram bomb. But then maybe now is the time where I do hologram uppercut, get rid of the artifacts. I want to get more bomb. And how much block do we have? 18? 21? This would be another 18. 39 plus 6, 45. The guy's only doing, um, 48. Let's just do this. Two bombs out. We'll do triggered again, make the deck even smaller. We still have genetic, we still have panic buttons, so not only do we have one buffer, we also have genetic, we also have panic buttons, so there's no panic on my side of things. Looking very promising. More bomb. Uppercut finally to get rid of this guy and do malaise, or we can just do, just do glacier first. I can even uppercut to him, which not only does damage, but also weakens him. Yeah, let's do that. Well, he's just kind of chilling there. Genetic now. Sure, on the two cost defense. So now the deck is getting down to ideal set of cards. Minus the days. More bomb. That buffer work here. More weakened, so I. Actually, there's potential for even more here. Oh, man. Acrobatics has been a godsend. I'm going to use my now, at this point. Because um, at this point, we have Panic Button and we have a buffer to manage this. And Deca's going to die very soon. Although, I can still maintain the malaise just for when it's 1v1. I can kind of set him back. But it's kind of clogging up my draws, this malaise. It's just been sitting there. So let me just do it now. And but not to mention the guy's gonna be down very low in life, so he's getting down to like 50 HP at the end of next turn. So might be a panic button turn. So true right now is okay. Streamline. The panic button turn. I'm looking at, I can use one buffer here. Instead of using panic, I can just lose one buffer. That should be a buffer turn. It's a possibility. So, so beta chest. Now, when you say maybe, I think there's one or one or seven things that buffer replies to, replies with. I can say buffer new panic button. Since this guy's gonna die at the end of next turn, anyways. I actually just wasted my... I should have just charged battery because this was a waste. This guy's dying next turn anyways. Uh, Shouldn't have a complete waste. Whatever. Penny Punch might have been a waste as well. Uh, Penny Punch is probably higher value than Buffer because it can block for two. Let 
Now that's worth it. next long run long run all right oh man we can beat the heart we'll beat the heart well we still have a shot we have a lot of gold for the i think we'll be fine at the heart it takes some thinking all right so do you feel like i feel like i'm gonna play regardless buffer i'm not sure Glacier, I, I can't play Glacier and Defrag at the same turn. Uh, it's important that I get the bomb out ASAP. The bomb needs to come out and kill these little cultists, and then it's just me and the woke bloke with Malaise to kind of set him back and just buy. If I do Malaise, then I. Like if I'm playing to do Malaise regardless, then I can play these powers now and then let Malaise kind of set him back. And then what we could do is get a couple of bombs ready and then kill them, and then when the next phase comes, the bombs kind of trigger. That's going to be kind of hard to plan, but I can imagine with a good hologram, hologram bomb, hologram bomb, whatever. There's potential there. I just wish that we had more holograms. Here we want to maybe do streamline, hologram streamline. And there goes all my energy, and then maybe do buffer. It feels like, okay, I'm killing this guy. I'm doing streamline, hologram streamline, I'm practicing killing these cultists, whereas the bomb can kind of just kill them. Although we do have 20 cards left in the deck. Glacier, Glacier seems good though, just to get Frost going, right? Glacier charge battery. Yeah, so the way the heart works, if you go, look, heart AI, boom, Chrissy's got it for you. On the third turn, the heart removes debuffs and it gains strength based on the negative strength that it gains. So after the third turn, you use malaise, then it actually sticks. Then that malaise sticks, and then you're looking at it zero times 15 for at least two turns for two multi hits. Or okay, it's gonna be like zero times 15 for the first multi hit after the third turn, and then it's gonna be like maybe two or whatever amount that it's gonna be on the next multi hit. It's gonna be manageable. So it's important to save disarm and malaise after the third turn. Uh, I'm taking a long time here. I'm trying to think. Trying to think, trying to think. See, my brain has to try to think. It doesn't like to think naturally. It's just kind of like vacuous. Kidding, of course. I don't like this. I don't appreciate this at all. The bomb I appreciate. Wow, wow, acrobatics. Oh my god, you're amazing. Acrobatics was a battle trance with no downside. Okay, we can panic button now, because then we have the bomb coming up to clean up, clean up shop. We can do uppercut, get the weaken. Uppercut for the weaken. Hey, Sied Lag Siggy, welcome. Thanks for the resub. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you, buddy. And Pod, thanks for the tier one sub. I missed it, Pod, but Pod, thank you for the tier one sub. Sied Lag Siggy, seven months in a row. We're two months away from a baby, Sied. So get the baby name ready. Welcome back, buddy. Boy or girl, you decide. Eighteen plus six is gonna be twenty-four. We're taking oh plus another four. We're taking twenty-eight is twenty-eight, and we're taking two. To be careful, we're taking two. No, I'm taking more than two. My bad. Twenty-eight, thirty-six. I'm taking eight. We're taking eight unless shrug it off. What's wrong with doing panic button now? I love this game. 
but watching you is usually more fun than playing myself Kiret Kiret. <laughs> What's wrong with your paint button now? Okay, we just shrug it off here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna save. Okay, that's fine. We're taking eight, I believe. Which means we're losing two plate armor, unfortunately, because it's on a multi hit. And here we have genetic for this turn, which is fantastic. And we can get Trubit on the defense because we want to thin out the deck a little bit. We got Corsair's Bias, which is kind of hard to say no to. Which means I can't do genetic, but we have got Corsair's Bias. We're going to take a lot of damage, but at this end of the day, this is the last boss. This is the last boss. So I'm going to heal after this fight anyways. And I think getting Corsair's Bias is too good to not do. And the bombs can take care of these guys anyways. So if we take a big hit, whatever. It should be smooth sailing from here on out. We have Malays to manage him, and then these guys are dead. We even have Dark Cyclops for this turn if we feel like it. And we have an amazing turn with Snack away. So much so that I can probably just go ahead and uh, I'm not I'm not even gonna dark cycle here. So I'm gonna go do hologram. Streamline. Damage going. Oh, we can do charge of battery just get more energy. More energy is probably better, right? Like I don't care about the damage as much. And then we go ahead and uh 1v1 this boy. Fair fight. I'll keep. Yeah, I got 21 passive block here. You can probably play defrag. I can do malaise now, why not? And right, now we just uh set up for the second part. I I can probably do defrag. It doesn't seem necessary though. Just slow play it. Get rid of the true grit. Get rid of the defense. And now my game plan here is to kind of just play lots of bombs and mainly a bomb and hologram if I can. The more I thin out the deck. Like if you do true, true grit again, you can really slow play this. But what a true grit here though. But what a true grit here. See the true grit targets that I want to hit are maybe the defense and maybe I want to true grit like. I'm trying to run out of targets. I guess I can true grit the defense. Maybe I can get rid of zap. I'm gonna get rid of dual cast. Dual cast is not bad though. Do this. I'm gonna just go ahead and hologram uppercut again. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of so we have buffer and we have panic button for the second part, and we have defrag as well, waiting for it, and we have genetic algorithm for the second part. So we have three, potentially four. Uh, you know, get out of jail free cards for the second part, so I'm not too worried about that. I want to ideally get sure get this turn. Just keep doing damage, I suppose. I could have an acrobatics again to look for true but let's go ahead and do some more damage. Bomb, shrug, charge. Maybe we can get triggered again? Nope. No, no such luck. Now, if we had Calipers or Barricade, this deck would be very good. I, I think... I'm actually hoping there's Barricade at the shop. Although, this is only for card rewards, right? Yeah. Let's hope that Barricade gets dropped from the Elite oh, Fight. Oh, shit! Yo, Let's Sky go. the Pick. Let's go, baby. Three months in a row. Welcome back, buddy. Triggered again? We could probably trigger Dual Cast at this point. Down to 20 cards. But also, keep in mind, we have Black Star, so Calipers may drop from the Elite. More bomb. So he's gonna die to this next bomb here, so let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm not sure there's much I can do to... So we can get rid of Zap. I think Zap is something I can get rid of here. The deck's down to 19 cards. Bomb again. So that, this is the bomb that's actually... This, both these bombs are going to hit on the second phase. Actually, no, they're not. So... Well, actually, they will. It, it totally depends on... If I do Streamline now... The bomb... It's so close to hitting him for this. I wanted to double bomb anyways. I want to cycle the deck like that. I'm hoping that this guy 
can die next turn. A strike or something. Or a stream mine. Alright, and then we can do another bomb. So now this three bombs are all going to be for the second phase. So I'm basically doing 150 damage for the second phase, and the guy hasn't even spawned yet. And we want to maybe potentially look for a, a cheap power. Alright. So this guy's going to wake up to 100 damage for the face. That's a nice wake-up surprise. He's trying to do 40. I'm doing 100. I think I win. Heat sinks defrag. And we can panic button now because I kind of didn't take into account the damage. Or we can maybe get lucky. I guess I can panic button now. Well, or maybe just take the hit. I don't really care, right? Not that much damage. It's 10 damage? Forever. Oh, 37. Because I have... Gold plated. Oh my god. I haven't even taken this account at all. Oh wow. Just now I noticed. GG. Let's get the genetic scaling. That's important. Tribute again. I mean, when you, when you have a deck that's... You're drawing 7 cards a turn, and you're tributing down to how much I've tributed. You're drawing through your whole deck every 2 turns. So if I tribute one more time, then... I mean, the deck's unstoppable at this point. I want to get Jeanette just for the scaling. But we have another time. We have another turn to play it. So let's go ahead and do, um... Trugrit. Just, just really drive it home. Trugrit again. Actually. Look for Bomb. Different bomb, maybe? Maybe get like a cheap bomb? Boom. Cheap bomb. Easy. Yeah, and now we'll go do genetic just to scale it up with the elite fight in the heart, and then we'll go as well as do, um... And not much to do, actually. Just win. More bombs. Why not? Genetic, genetic, genetic. There it is. Avoid. The red dark cycles. GG. All right. Two thousand three hundred forty-one, and we haven't even done the heart yet. All right, boys and girls, we gotta get the shop. Gotta unbuckle the pants. Two-hour run. My goodness, resident sleeper. All right, we probably re uh, the we rest. Well, we have blood vial, right? So it's gonna be. 79 out of 84. 79 out of 84. Do I care about 5 HP or do I want to upgrade something? Let's see where the upgrades are. Is it thump a thump? It, is, the, is the mic thumping? Are you guys hearing thumps? Let me know. If the mic is uh, thumping. Let's the bias from a laser here. Mike's okay? Okay. Uh... Malays are probably better for the elite fight for the ability to remove artifacts. Or maybe not even ability to remove artifacts. I say uppercut removes artifacts and then we do Malays on the guy on the right for one more, which might be relevant. It might be relevant to just get that one extra malaise guy on the right and multi hits. Although biased, yeah, I think we do malaise here. Okay, the shop has to be very important. For, like, I need like more holograms. Yes, that's top tier addition to the deck. Interesting, strange spoon. Let's take a look at strange spoon here. Strange spoon gives us genetic algorithm again, potentially solid. I don't know if it retains the block. I'm hoping it does. Potentially gives us a panic button again. Solid. Potentially gives us dark shackles again. Solid. Potentially gives us malaise again. Solid. Potentially gives us white noise again. Not bad. Core surge again. Not bad. Every card, every card that I exhaust is very good to bring back. Now there's also the downside of it like with voids and stuff. Or like if I'm true breeding burns or true breeding other cards. But I think the upside of train spoon might be... Like, if I can get Dark Shackles or Genetic Garden twice, that's... could make or break a fight. 
I just wonder... Yeah, it does mess with True Grit, you're right. But I wonder if that's a big enough downside. Exhaust when played? Oh, Exhaust when played! Okay, yeah, so it doesn't mess with True Grit at all. Only Exhaust when played. It doesn't mess with, it doesn't mess with Burns, and it doesn't mess with uh, True Grit. So it's only Exhaust when played. It doesn't mess with True Grit at all. It's actually really good. And it doesn't mess with Voids. That's actually really good. So all the cards that I mentioned still maintain this value. And not to mention we also have Hologram, which is not upgraded, so my exhaust. I'm doing Spoon here. Boom. Vajra's not bad. Although I think I might remove... I'll remove a basic defend or remove a zap. I think I might remove... Okay, I'm not like super eager about removing defend here. Let me see what else we can do. Potions, potions, potions. Skill pot. Speed pot with artifacts. Ancient. Maybe. If you can get speed pot on the artifacts plus the core shirts with the bias, then we can potentially have dexterity and focus. Nah, discovery doesn't seem necessary to me. I think speed pot would be better. See the tap. We can do speed pot, remove. We can remove and do speed pot. Free value discovery. Now I think the deck is fine. We have the we have bombs for damage. We have uh, good block. Lots of recursion now with the panic buttons, genetics, and the dark shackles. So I think, um, especially if we get speed pot, then that's gonna be very good for block as well. I'm gonna do speed pot here, and I'm thinking that okay, skill pot. No gambling brew. Ha, uh, Gambler's Brew might be useful, because on turn 2 of the Elite, we get 2 burns, and I want to make sure that my draws are perfect for the Elite fight, and this might just be a way to offset that, so I can discard the Fire Pot and take Gambler's Brew just to make sure that turn 2 and turn 3 are flawless against the Elite. And I think that might be the play. I gotta use the bathroom one more time because this tea is making me pee. One second. But I think I'm gonna do Gambler's Brew instead of Fire Pot for this return to. Actually, I was thinking. So, we have Snake Eyes, so we're drawing seven cards a turn. That, that already naturally kind of offsets the turn two of the Elite fight, so maybe with Snake we don't worry about that. We just remove here. And if we remove, we're getting into the nitty gritty of the deck. We're getting the you know, Core Surge Bias more often, and we're getting the Bomb quicker and the Malays and stuff like that. But what would I remove? I guess I remove. Zap or defend? Maybe just move, move, move the zap here. But Gambler's Brew does kind of cover some of our weaknesses. We have a very good deck for the heart. Very good deck for the heart. And Firepot, because we have Persia Vincent, like Firepot might be relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the zap here. Oh, oh, oh my lord. So we got buys first turn. Now I could bite the bullet and do ancient artifacts for this, but they have low life. I might just do buys naked, because I think I'm going to win in four turns regardless, or within three turns at least. So we're going to do defrag for sure. We're going to do the bomb for sure. Now on this turn, we're thinking maybe Glacier and Bias. And if I'm looking at Bla Glacier, Glacier Bias, I could do Acrobatics and discard Genetic. Potentially have Hologram value on that. And look for something else. So let's see. We got Buffer. And Buffer's quite good as well. Wow. Okay. We have Buffer as well. Lots of superstars here. In fact, if I didn't do Acrobatics, Buffer for next turn would have been pretty top tier. I think we just do Bias and Glacier now. And with the Bomb plus Fire Pot and the fact that they're already low in life, we're probably going to win this fight without having to worry about the negative focus here. So that's going to be 10 plus um, 4, 14 plus 24 is going to be 40, 38. That's enough. That's enough. 
But I'm not worried about this turn. I'm worried about turn two and turn three. So I do buys for those turns. But I mean, it is going to rapidly start decreasing, isn't it? I guess we can try to be patient here. I just don't want to be blindsided next turn and hope and wish that I had used buys. Because I want to have every bit of HP as I can for the heart. I think buys is probably fine because we also got to keep in mind we have gold plated cables with the, the the lightning, which is this damage is pretty relevant with the bomb ticking away and the um, fire pot in the hand. I want to do the buys here. I could be mistaken. Could be mistaken here. Hello world. So in the next turn after this, it sucks that. So is this gonna hit their the shield? It is, isn't it? I can do genetic for this turn. So I have a lot of options. I can do genetic for this turn. I can do buffer for this turn. I mean, I have so many options. I could do genetic. I could do uppercut for damage. For the bomb is more relevant. Now it's just me and these little boys with very little life. Got Panic Button as well and Dark Shackles. So Dark Shackles would be nice. I mean, maybe I should do Dark Shackles now. On this guy. And Panic I mean, I have so many options here. It's ridiculous. I don't see how we lose. I should have brought the second bomb out maybe. I could do Fire Pot if I feel so inclined. Spoon worked as well. Yep, Spoon hit the hologram. I mean, the fight's not going to last very long. I can do Shark Shackles now. I can do Dark Shackles on him. I can uppercut him. Spoon works on Dark Shackles as well. I'm wasting all my Spoon RNG. The one thing you don't want to waste is Spoon RNG. It's very precious RNG. And this is an easy fight. Wow. Let's get the scaling, of course. Don't want to forget the scaling on this bad boy. You disappoint me, Claw. You disappoint me, Claw. Spoon RNG. Bag of prep is fantastic, dude. But all sure, weak pot, okay. FTL no, fusion no, poison stab no. But okay, weak pot instead of fire pot. I mean, guarantee getting weakened on the heart might be relevant. Also, it's another way to get rid of an artifact, which could be relevant as well to make sure I hit the malaise when I need to, and that is after turn three. So, weak pot is probably better than fire pot here. Fire pot is twenty damage, but I think the weak pot is more important. Spoon on genetic, spoon on dark shackles. Yep, spoon on panic button. Spoon on my unupgraded hologram. I think it's just weak pot here instead of fire pot. And then that's just to help us make sure that we get the big malaise. And then we have 20, 77 life and a dream here. A couple things to consider. Bias right away. Artifacts, biased. Focus pot. Now we have core surge and speed pot. Looking forward to that. And then we also need to Galatia just get the frost instead of the bomb. Damage is nice, but I want to make sure I have frost. Pass. Malaise will be after the turn. So should I weak? Nah, I can weak pot at this point if I want to. Weak pot now with uppercut. I mean, I can just weak with uppercut. We can do true grit on the burn. So let's go ahead and get rid of that burn now. Let's go ahead and shrug it off. Let's see what white noise has to offer. Yeah, white noise again, which is nice. I don't really want to do storm. Do I mind, do I mind storm? I'd rather not have it in my deck. So we're going to take some damage here. No, we're not. Actually, if I do Storm, then... Let me see. I'm not taking damage here, am I? He's doing 30, and we have 15. It's 18. We're good. 
can afford to do this. And now he's going to get the core surge with the speed pot. And here for this turn, we have buffer, which is just on time. So we can buffer this if we want to, or we might be able to be able to block it. I might be able to block it. I'm going to defrag, though. One thing that's unfortunate here is... Storm. But Storm's actually not bad. That, that, that damage is pretty relevant, I would say. Voice crack. Dual cast. So we're losing buffer regardless, right? I was trying to maintain it, but I don't think we can. Weak pot, he's already weakened. Now, if I can keep the frost on the full plate, it would have been nice, but I think... Yeah, I was trying to maintain buffer. But I can't. That's unfortunate. It's a full buffer right there. But the guy's already down pretty low in life. Now we got Core Surge. So what we can do is... Hologram... The Bomb. For damage. Core Surge... Speed Pot. And now... We have a buffer. We have a bomb. We have lots of answers. We gotta get rid of these artifacts and then do malaise. Here, if I can get Dark Shackles, that'd be kinda nice. White Noise came back. That's right. It came back to me. Mm -hmm. That's a bad turn for us, so we're gonna take some damage here. But I can't really get rid of the artifacts this turn. Now we can argue if White Noise wasn't back, we can fight a better card. Sure what to do here. I'm not sure what to do here. Just defend, hologram defend. I mean, that, no, it's not good. So, there's a chance that dark gets discarded, right? So, if I play Dark and Scars, and then I can Hologram just Dark and take no damage. But, there's one thing to consider. I have Buffer. But the Buffer's gonna get hit. Okay. So, the Buffer's gonna get taken away regardless here. Because I'm not gonna block for 60. So, if, if, I, if this is 50% discard, then this is actually a really good play. Yo. I need to hit Malaise. This could be a Panic Button turn. Panic Button, no, there's no harm or no foul of Panic Button here. So, get the Weaken. Weaken Panic Button. Bomb. I like it. This is damage. This is damage. This is... Get it out of the way. You might, might as well discard as well. I like it. Weaken. Panic. And it discarded, so Panic is back in my deck. Oh, wow, wow, wow. We just have 70, 75 life to deal with. Now Panic Button's not going to matter. We want to find Malaise, because now this is the time to get Malaise. We didn't find Malaise, unfortunately. We got our Frost, which is really good. Now Slime can come back to me. Let's hope that 50% works in our favor for Slime. I want to do a cast because that... Well, I like the lightning because the lightning damage is relevant, but if I put dual cast on the frost, then I'm actually getting 33 passive block. I want to try to get rid of slime, but you know, I'm just going to let it be right now. We have the bomb, 50 damage. I like the new animations. We got malaise finally. And it got discarded instead. Oh my god. Genetic algorithm, which... Oh my. I'm spoiled. Because I got hologram malaise again. It discarded again. Strange Spoon is amazing. 
All right, let's get the bomb again. Well, here's what I want to do. I want to get rid of... I want to do the bomb again. It's important to me. I'll take damage then. I'm going to dual cast first so I don't take that damage, but... We got Dark Shackles here. We got Shrug. All right, we just... We're basically just winning the game. I want to get this out of the way. Capacitor. That's fantastic. Still got Dark Shackles in the deck. Bomb is doing damage. Okay, so we're getting close to the nitty gritty. We got Genetic again. We got Malaise again. Do this first. Malaise again. Which discarded again. Bomb again. Oh my god, I love this deck, dude. Oh my god. I love it. More bombs. How many Malaise did I get? Let's do um this. 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 White Noise came back again. White Noise is never leaving me. Ow. Alright. Luckily we have Panic Button and Glacier and stuff like that. And he's actually going to die this turn, I believe. He's dead this turn. Whew. Let's do it, baby. Love that deck. Prismatic Shard finally released its curse and said, I'm going to give you a deck you're proud of. I'm proud I was. It's cool, man. Cool, 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 cool run. Very unique. Interesting. Now, we could have done Frozen Egg, but then we wouldn't have gotten this run. 3,141. This spoon was awesome, dude. I love that spoon. Sneko Shard Spoon. That's Anthony's title right there. Sneko Shard Spoon. It's a typical bomb uh, malaise defect deck. Spoon, spoon was pretty good. Yeah, Spoon was great. I mean, I think we had options without Spoon, but the Spoon made me, like, almost... Made it no problem at all. Thanks for the 500 bits of you. I appreciate it.